Hey everyone, it's Cynthia Maynard from CynthiaMaynard.com and today I have um, this card here. It is from featuring our new stamp set Woodwards and there are matching dies which we will uh, use and you can get them as a bundle and save 10% so if you wanted that um, you can go to my website at CynthiaMaynard.com and click on the link and it, it, you just look that up and it'll be right there. Um, so this is a quick card, it's not very hard, but it's kind of a layered clustered card and it's kind of featuring this stamp set maybe in a different sort of way. Uh, this is one color combo that I did and let's see, that is Bermuda Bay and chocolate chip to go with my little bit of wood there and uh, Melon Bombo. Open it up, it's got that pretty floral stamp. So it's a very nice stamp set. It's got uh, these nice distressed shapes and things, uh, lots of sentiments on there, and then this beautiful floral floral piece that uh, is fun, and even these little stars and things. So, um, so that's what we're going to make today. I thought I would do a rose red version. I have a piece of rose red cardstock, cut to an A2 size card, so 11 by 4 and a quarter, and scored in the middle. And our piece for the inside will be that piece and that'll just fit right on there so we'll do some stamping on that. I have my from the wood paper and you get lots of fun um, pieces of paper there in our designer series paper and I'm using this strip and it is let's see it is one and a quarter by four and a quarter and then this piece is one and a half by four and a quarter so they're going to fit right on top of each other and that beautiful glimmer paper and if the light hits it it kind of picks up the pinks in the Bermuda Bay so that's why I thought to use those and so we're going to layer that right on top actually we can go ahead and just start with that um, I like to use a little bit stronger adhesive like tear and tape or something really strong um, fast fuse you could use uh, just because of the um, textural surface of the glimmer paper so just a little quick tip there. Go ahead and put a strip there, cut that a little bit too short. Super fun. It's got all sorts of colors and you can go check that out as well. Uh, right, so I'm just basically centering that um, right down the middle so that we have it peeking out either side. So you're simply going to, you know, that's a little bit too far down, I'm going to put that up just a little bit like so. If you notice on my card here, the stitch circle, I have an interesting texture there and it almost looks like the wood papers with the Boone Bay. And that is just super easy and done with what we call ink swiping. So what we do is we take, I'm going to go ahead and take the rose red. And the no, the chocolate chip. And what you do is you take a piece of scrap paper. Here I've got one here, one that will fit our little circle on it. And you're simply going to I'm gonna swipe this one first, the chocolate chip. You just do just that. You swipe, <laughs> and you can go either direction. That was probably more than what I wanted to do. We'll be right on top of that. Okay and go the other direction. Super simple. And then when that dries, what we can do is find the prettiest spot with our, um, probably not over here in this dark, but for our card. Um, and you just cut out the part that you like. Go ahead and stamp the inside of my card, <clears throat> which is going to be using this floral stamp here. And I used the opposite color of what the base was. So in this case, since our base is rose red, I'm going to go ahead and use the Bermuda Bay to do my floral stamping in there, just to make it a little, little more interesting. And there's really not a whole lot of science to this other than just kind of coming in the corners, corners there. Obviously, we'll want to leave room to write our message. And that, we are just simply going to use snail or whatever adhesive just to put flat. 
line up so that there's that border all around like that. All right, so that's the inside of our card finished, and you could also mimic that on the envelope. Continuing on here, also with the floral stamps, since we have that out, I have the labels framelits, and I took this size, and I went ahead and stamped uh, in the chocolate chip, so that's what we'll do here. And you can just about get all of it in a go here. Let's fill in a little bit there. And this one, we're going to go ahead and cut. So we're going to cut it about two-thirds in. So if you picture it, instead of cutting it in half, I'm just going to cut it two-thirds. Like that. And this is going to go right up against that glimmer paper. And then this is going to go, obviously, in line there. So it's kind of like we elongated the piece. So I'm going to grab the Hello Friend and the Rooster from our stamp set. Get our block out for that. So the Rooster is going to be in rose red. So the matching of the background card base. You want to leave enough room for that to be cut out on the big shot with the die. As a matching die, or you could fussy cut that out if you don't have the die set. And then our Hello Friend be in the opposite color of the card base. So whatever color combo you're doing. Uh, so for me, it's the Bermuda Bay. And I want to leave enough room to use my double banner punch um, like that. Oops, that wasn't very good, was it? <laughs> Let's turn that on the back side there. A banner punch, or you could make just a straight banner out of that. Um, I'm going to go to the big shot and cut these two things out and I'll be right back. Alright, so you can see I cut the rooster out with the die there and uh, we have our ink swiped circle there. So it kind of gives this neat little textural element there. And uh, that's just going to go flat with the um, snail. And you're going to kind of, um, kind of put it this way and up a little bit there. Sentiment and our rooster are going to go up in dimensionals. So let me grab those. Just a couple dimensionals on our banner. And then we'll use a couple of our new mini dimensionals on our rooster. They're so cute. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and put that about here. And then we're going to put our little rooster right about there. Okay, and then it's just a matter of adding um, embellishments. We have a lot of new embellishments out. Um, we have new rhinestones that are similar to this, but they're without this strip, so I'm just using up the ones I had there. So using up my enamel dots, but you could put whatever embellishments you have there. I'm going to use this heart right there. And then to kind of pick up on that glimmer paper, add a little extra bling. Um, I feel like that needs another one for some reason, <laughs> the way I've put it on this card. Um, and there you have it. It's it's pretty easy, super simple. Um, and then you've got this nice card. It's It's got spots for you to write. You could do this on the envelope. It has that interesting textural elements with the glimmer paper and the swiping and the wood grain and the dimension. So hopefully you like that. If you do, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, guys. Thanks so much and have a great day.